the Yankees have such a rich history that when you look at 2019 slash 2020, 20 years from now, I think we're always going to go back to that Garrett Cole signing and say, what happened once they signed Garrett Cole? Hal Steinbrenner is on the record saying, let's win multiple championships. Garrett Cole said the same thing to Bob and I at the press conference the Yankees had at Yankee Stadium. So this was a watershed signing, and I'm eager and curious to see what Cole does for the Yankees going forward. By the way, it's funny. When he signed, we were all doing the parallel with what happened 10 years earlier sure. with CC Sabathia and how that was a watershed moment as well. Yeah, and the expectations went up immediately, right? And it's the same thing for all these players getting ready for spring training, only 30-something days away they're thinking it's a World Series or bust you always think that way when you're a Yankee player getting ready for a season but when you bring in the number one pitcher in the game the expectations rise even even greater when you cover a team on an everyday basis as we do and there's that projected rotation with of course Cole as the ace you notice when the national media is taking a closer look at a team. And the Yankees always get a ton of national attention. I'm very curious to see how that unfolds in Tampa because I think the Yankees will enter spring training with a bullseye on their back. I absolutely think they are the favorite to win in 2020. And I think it would be a disappointment at this point for them if they don't. They won 103 games last year. They have Cole for a full season. If Severino can stay healthy, they have him for a full season. This is a team that is built to win and expects to win. I'm also interested with some of the other free agent signings in the offseason and some of the subtractions I think of the Astros. They lost Garrett Cole. They've lost a couple relievers out of that bullpen. The Angels have gotten better with Anthony Rendon. How does the dynamic change of maybe three or four different teams getting better and then three or four kind of sliding? I think it goes right to Houston to your point and we went to spring training last year and the conversation with some of the Yankee upper brass was how are we going to match up with the Houston Astros in a playoff series? And that was during spring training. You're thinking about Verlander. How are we going to match up with Cole? Now, all of a sudden, all the other clubs around Major League Baseball are going to be thinking, how can we match up with the Yankees during a playoff series? You have Cole. You have Tanaka. You have Severino. You have Paxton. That's a big four to deal with, and we haven't even gotten to the regular season yet. All right, that graphic that we just showed with that projected rotation that you talked about, that says it all for the Yankees. You have four pitchers there who you could argue have been aces or one A's. Paxton was as good a pitcher as there was in Major League Baseball for the last couple of months of last season. Tanaka has been a terrific postseason pitcher. Severino was one of the best pitchers in baseball for the first half of 2018. Has to show that he can do it consistently. And then we know who Cole is. So I do think the Yankees have as good a rotation as anyone in Major League Baseball. But they have to go out there, perform. And more than anything, we saw this in 2019, guys. They have got to stay healthy.